Hi guys, I am Mama Bear to Many. If you have not been here before, I am so glad to have you here. I am mom to 14 children. 12 of my children are still at home and you probably hear them starting to get supper because we just came home from the grocery store. So this month, basically my grocery plan is a little bit different this month. My total grocery is going to be for our family. We have 12 children and then my husband and myself. So 14 people at home that we feed on a daily basis, three meals a day. So, my husband packs his lunch to go to work, so that's why I say three meals a day. Um, so, we are going off the budget. Last month, my budget was $1,750, um, and that was $125 per person per month. We have dropped our budget. Yes, we have dropped our budget during inflation. Yes, we're a little crazy. But before my daughter um, started with type 1 diabetes, um, our budget was always $100 per person. It took me a couple months to just figure out how we could feed her. And a little bit of that, a lot of the extra money was just spent trying to figure that out. I have a, you can see in my glasses, I have a, um, what the heck are they called? A light over my plants. And that is what is reflecting in my glasses. And I can't really get it out of my eyes. Sorry about that. Um, so um, we are going to go through this grocery haul, which is a Sam's grocery haul, super haul. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I do once a month grocery shopping and I'm really strict this month um, on my once a month grocery haul. So once a month grocery shopping and then I sp I'm going to save $200 to spend in two weeks just on fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, so the stuff that I have behind me is from Sam's Club. And then in two days, I believe my Amazon order is going to come in. And then I'll share that on this same video. So this will be my Sam's Club haul and my Amazon haul. So let's see what I got. Okay, so I got two five pound bags of organic carrots. So my budget here was 600 and my budget on Amazon was 600. So they were both equal amounts pretty much. Um, so carrots, I got one spring mix and one baby spinach. I got a box of mangoes, which will be ready. You see how we chose them to be like slightly green. So I have this much vegetables or fruits. For snacks left over so those will be eaten over the next couple days i'll actually take these things right here out and place them on the table and then fill those three things right here with the items that i have over here so these will go in one and then i'll probably have um one with apples and then one with the bananas right there so we have um this is eight pounds of mangoes and then we have um, 20 pounds, four five pound bags of apples. I like apples because they last a good two, three weeks. So I don't have any issues having them as like the last snack, if that makes sense. Um, we're gonna have these two cantaloupes whenever they ripen. So I think probably what we'll do first is we will have these grapefruit um, first. We actually do have two. I have to get somebody to go grab it out of the truck. We had. We have a five pound bag of mandarins, but we had mandarins with lunch today. We just pulled them out of the back because we were gone for most of the day picking up some cows. So um, two, we just got one bag of these grapefruits. So this would be used first um, until these were a little bit softer. So I think tomorrow we're having sausage balls and then I'll just cut and people can have some grapefruit with that. Um, more bananas, obviously we'll eat the other ones first and then those ones, um, and then cucumbers. So we're looking for fruits that we can actually peel, um, and then making sure that we can buy organic if we have spinach or lettuce or anything like that. So then we got six of these. Sweet Pea really likes these. A lot of times she'll have this. This is very low carb, so a lot of times she'll have this with one of her meals as like a side vegetable type thing. Um, yeah, so I have a daughter with type one diabetes, so she likes that. Um, so we got four half and halves. We have a couple still in the fridge, so four should take us through 
hopefully a month. If not, we will allot a little bit of money from that $200 towards half and half, but hopefully it should take us through the month. I got two 12 packs of the tuna. This was actually on sale um, this week. So I think it's until the end of the month. So yes, that's on sale. So if you have a Sam's, make sure you check out the price on that. This is what um, I ended up getting for Sweet Pea. So she would have these if we were someplace and I brought granola bars for the other kids, she would have one of these. And it could be that I make homemade granola bars for everyone, but then I just have this for her because a granola bar really just spikes her up. Okay, then I got some of this sugar in the raw. Um, some of this is just for storage and some of it's to use. We rotate through all of our storage. Um, anyway, that's how it's going to be. And then, so there's six of those all together. So 36 pounds. Go ahead and eat your supper and then you can go out. Okay, so I needed rice. I am going to be using this jasmine rice. I also use rice to um, make rice flour in order to make my sourdough um, sorghum bread. So that is that. And then we have some of the... I also have two other bags of rice down here, so 100 pounds of the rice here and I'm going to take these and put those in some storage bins um, just to have backup because I noticed I didn't have any. Um, let's see, and then we have five things of the string cheese. This is a great snack. A lot of times they have string cheese before bed at night. So we have five of those, one plus a little bit more per week. And then I bought this for my husband for sandwiches because I have not been that great about making his lunch. We got two broccoli florets. I actually had six written on my thing, but then I realized that I hadn't put cheese on my- Here's a real talk. Then I realized that I hadn't put cheese on my shopping list, which would have brought it way over the $600. So what I did was I decided that I would take some of the broccoli off and then some of the meat off, which I was planning on 20 um, packages of meat, which I'll show you in a second. Um, 20 things of meat, but decided that I would do the cheese, a little less meat, and just two of the broccoli. And hopefully our high tunnel will just get going pretty soon. But if we needed whatever in two weeks, we'd have the $200 to do that. So, so we have the two broccoli florets. And then I got this for cheese. So I am going to grate these. Um, I'm probably gonna grate four of these and then write um, dates on these. If you have seen past grocery hauls, you know what I do. I usually divide things up and then I'll write the dates on it. So one for each, um, that would be one for each week, but then I'll leave these two just in my drawer and decide if I need that for different things. We shall see. Um, and then we have 14 packages of meat here. So yes, as you can tell, we broke into the cheese. I will subdivide that cheese in there as well. Um, and then we have 14 packages of meat here. And most of this meat I'm going to be making into freezer meals. So make sure that you check that video out when that one comes out. So I think the only thing that we don't have is the mandarins, um, which my husband went to go get so they don't go out there and get stuck in a cold vehicle and freeze and then they're useless. So that is what we are going to do. I need to make out a plan for all of these um, meats. Yeah, but I think we did okay. Um, I ran over just a little bit. Um, I think it was 612 is what my total came to. Um, but my Amazon. But my Amazon order was actually like 560. 67 I believe that it was um, so it works out so I still was under the amount so I still have um, just a little over $200 for two weeks from now so I'm going to show you um, also you'll be able to see what I make with this meat so make sure you're going to check out that video last month I did some chicken after I did this um, this month I'm going to do some things with this meat here, but some of it I am going to actually mix with some of our pork that we already have. So I need to plan that out. I like to mix 
pork and hamburger together. You could mix any other thing that was cheap. You could mix like ground turkey or something like that. That's a cheaper um, meat in with your um, beef to just stretch it out a little bit. Or sometimes like um, before we would, before type one and before our diet changes, we might mix something like lentils in with our um, beef and that would really work well as well. So if you're trying to stretch your meat, those are all alternatives to be able to do that. So I will also show you um, what we got at Amazon. So I will be back. I almost forgot, these are not part of my grocery budget, but if you are near a Sam's Club, I think these were considered Easter dresses, but they are so cute, aren't they? I think they are so cute. Um, so these were actually, I don't know if they have the original price on them, but I paid $6.81 for these. Aren't they so cute? Anyhow, they had some that were on clearance. They had quite a few that were on clearance for $6.81, so I got or of the girls, these dresses. I am chilly this morning. I'm wearing my jacket. I was outside actually. Um, so this is gonna be the other half of my grocery haul and this would be from Amazon. So I bought the first half, as you guys just saw, at Sam's Club on Sunday. Today is Friday of that same week. And I have my Amazon haul. Everything is here except I did get six non-aluminum baking sodas. Baking powders, not baking soda. Yes baking powders that have not come in yet but they're not coming in for another three weeks so i'm not waiting on those because this stuff needs to get put away okay if i have if you have not been here before just to i think i have like black all over my nose oh well i have black all over my nose i've been out in the garden and working on chicken coop and all that type of stuff so if i look whatever and i don't feel good um so if you've not been here before we are feeding 14 people on a daily basis um, myself, my husband, and our 12 children, some of which are adult age. And um, we are eating mainly gluten-free. Okay, so we try to eat gluten-free. Um, most people do very well with that. I have bought, over the past couple weeks, I've bought sandwich bread um, just to get us through like the whole morning sickness type scenario. So my husband have, can have something to make sandwiches with and that type of stuff. Um, Aside from that, overall, our meals are gluten-free, soy-free, only organic, corn, I'm trying to think, yeah, that's it. And then my daughter, is, who is six, is a type 1 diabetic, um, which is I should go into in a different video because I don't think people understand that type 2 diabetes is absolutely not like type 1. Um, they are actually two totally different things. Type 1 is an autoimmune disease. Type 2 is not, and it's more diet-related re type thing. Um, that said, she eats some things that are a lot different, um, and I will show you some of those specialty items that we get best for her. Um, so this is my Amazon order, so let's go through it. I was totally out of tapioca flour or starch. They're the same thing. Um, I use that to make my, or in the process of making my sorghum sourdough bread. So we have actually not had sorghum sourdough bread, sorghum gum sourdough bread in days, weeks, about a week and a half, I think. Anyway, I got six boxes of that. And then I bought six of these gluten-free measure for measure flours. I ended up getting one of these big um, coconut aminos. Well, it's not coconut amino. It's made with coconut am aminos. It's like a, I don't know, you use it like a teriyaki sauce sometimes, put it on steak, like that type of stuff. Um, got a big one of those. Um, we got potato starch here. Four of those. I can use the potato starch as well in the um, bread, and I think I'm going to try to make our own potato starch at some point. Just not there yet. So these right here, I needed to stock up. These are mainly used for my daughter. Um, we will make a regular, sometimes we make the whole dessert into um, low carb, like a keto dessert, and sometimes we'll make smaller portions for her dessert, it just really depends. So these are for desserts that she would be able to have. 
So confectionery sugar, for instance, if it's a birthday party, she would have a keto cupcake and then I would make frosting um, made out of this type of confectionery sugar so that she could have that. Um, and then we've got some mini chips here. This is five pounds of the mini chips. A lot of the times we make like little balls that go into the freezer um, that are low carb kind of snack balls and we use the mini chips in those. I got a case of peanut butter, that's the no sugar peanut butter there. Then I have a um, bag of rolled oats, which is 25 pounds and then a bag of sorghum flour, which is 25 pounds. I pay a lot more money than you guys do for stuff, especially if you're using Azure. Azure is maybe like a third of the price of prices that I pay. So if you are blessed to have an Azure near you, be very thankful. <laughs> I would definitely use it um, if I was able to use it. So anyhow, this total of this stuff right here was $589. So this was the other half of my grocery haul. It seems like a lot of money to me. It really does. Um, like the oats, I think the oats are like $90 for 25 pounds, something like that. I don't know. It's expensive. Food's stinking expensive. Anyway, this is what I bought. I have $200 left in our budget to get fruits and vegetables. Um, and we'll see how this works and see how we do for next month and if we need to make some changes or different decisions um, for next month. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to lower my budget even more. So my budget for this month was $1,400. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to lower it even more. Um, I need to be able to start changing over some of my grocery budget into some of like animal feed type budget. Um, so I'm just trying to work that out to see how I can do that. So one step at a time. Anyway, that's what I got. And yeah, if you have any questions or comments, and if you feel like defeated at the end of a grocery store visit <laughs> or after the end of a shopping trip, I am right there with you people. Right there, guys. It is crazy. I'm not feeling good, but I do have a couple of videos that are ready to upload, so I don't think that you'll actually miss out a couple days um, because I have so much content that we've been working on. I'm still working on, we're working on the chicken coop outside. Um, we're working on a bunch of stuff inside of the high tunnel. Um, oh, I know, next week I have that meat that I bought. I'm going to have a video coming out with a bunch of meals that I made from that stuff. So yeah, I hope y'all have a blessed day.